So back in January 2024, I had just moved to Houston. I had been here maybe less than 24 hours. There was this man who saw me in the park. I had my suitcase and everything with me, and I didn't yet have a place to stay. And he came up to me offering me money for um, adult activities. And I remember immediately rejecting and declining his offer. He felt so terrible. He felt so bad, or he pretended to, rather. He left. He came back, offered me um, or he gave me $50, he laid it on the table and he left, right? I share that story to say that when you are a person who is walking in your truth and living in your truth and you don't even give, um, you're not even open to looking at anything other than what you know you deserve and what you know you desire. When you are living and walking and moving in your truth, when you are living and walking and moving in your power, there are going to be things that are going to constantly come and test you to see if you really are going to stay in that power and trust that power and live in that truth, there's going to be things and offers that are going to come to you that are going to be low ball ass offers that are le way less than what you really and truly deserve. And so sometimes out of fear or anxiety or stress or the pressures that come with living in the world that we live in, a lot of the times we um, accept or think about accepting offers that we don't really deserve because we have people pressuring us or things pressuring us into accepting those things. And so I want to share this message with you that if you are a person where you know you have done the time, you have healed, you have ascended, you have progressed forward in your life, and you know you deserve nothing less than the absolute best, you know you deserve love, you know you deserve peace, you know you deserve freedom in this world, I want to encourage you not to accept anything that is less than that, okay? If it is anything less than love, peace, truth, freedom, do not accept it. Do not allow it to come into your midst because the moment you give access to your to anything in your life that is less than love, peace, or freedom, then that is when the life that you have worked to create for yourself is going to continue to tread downhill and it's going to happen so fast and so hear me when i say this if you know you deserve to have a career and not just a job don't settle for a job if you know you deserve to have a marriage instead of just a live-in body don't don't accept that live-in body baby um, if you know you are a person who deserves to have the full package when it comes to family and relationships and things like that, please do not accept anything less than what you know you deserve. Trust that your standards are not too high. Trust that this universe is abundantly beyond your own imagination. There are things that you have yet to even dream or imagine that you can really and truly have. And I want you to trust that because there are a lot of us who have done the work, who have put in the time, who have made the effort and your blessings and your abundance are around the corner and is getting ready to come in for you. But baby, there, just as those blessings and things are getting ready to come in for you, please trust and please know that the tests are going to be coming in as well. And so I want to give you this as a warning and a heads up and an acknowledgement that like, please do not 314 on the clock. Please do not fall for the okie doke, okay? You are going to be tested. Do not fall for it. But that is the message, beautiful beings. Peace and love. I love you. Until next time. Deuces.